Good morning guys, I hope you're all well. I thought I would jump on here and start a vlog this week. I'm just doing some worky bits this morning, that's why I've got a full face of makeup on and seeing as I have, I thought I would jump on to YouTube because I haven't put a video up for a while. I need to nip into town, it's about two o'clock I think. I do some errands, so I need to get dressed, I'm still in my pyjama bottoms. Whether you'll see. Oh no, I can't lift my leg that high. I need to find something to wear, I don't know what to wear. It's really weird weather, it's like blowing a gale but really cold, but sunny. It's strange. I, I don't know how to dress for the winter. Um, and yeah, I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to show you my new pieces from Ana Luisa. As you guys know, I've worked with them in the past, um, and occasionally they send me a few bits to try and share with you guys. I absolutely love their jewellery. I wear it every single day. This is my most worn piece from them. I got this Probably the beginning of the year, I think. It's their dog tag necklace. This doesn't come with it. This is my signet ring my mum and dad got me when I was probably about eight years old. Um, but because it doesn't fit on any of my fingers anymore, I keep it safe by keeping it on my necklace. But it's such a gorgeous length, this. I love it. And like I said, I wear this every single day without fail. I've got another set of earrings that I wear religiously, like this, daily. Um, and they're these small little gold hoops. Yeah, they're like a gold hoop and then they kind of like splay out a bit. I'll insert an image of them on the website if they've still got them. These are quite old and like I said, I wear them every single day. I absolutely adore them. You know when you find an earring that is just the right size? I love them. However, I wanted to get some bigger ones for the festive season and I noticed this shape on there. How gorgeous is this kind of like an oval i love these they're so nice they just dress up an outfit i love wearing all my gold and they're not heavy either which is nice you'd think they'd be uh really heavy but they're not um if you've followed me for a while you will know that anna louise is a is a sustainable company all their jewelry is made from recycled gold they are carbon neutral it's really affordable as well so at the moment they're doing a buy one item and then get 60 percent off another which is incredible. They're already pretty reasonably priced anyway. I think they start at about $39, their items, and they're so worth it. You can just get some really unique pieces, and if you're into minimal jewellery like me, you will love them. They come in these cute packages as well. They sent me three different colours this time. So we've got like this teal one, little rusty orange, and a dark blue. I've got loads of rings from there, and they're so nice because, like I said, they don't tarnish. So I went for this one this time. It's like a like a stacker ring and it's got these little diamonds in yeah i love it and it's really sparkly nice for the festive season i think i could have gone a size down i got a size eight which i usually get um in other jewelry but it's quite big but I, like i said i will stack it so it won't slip off but i love that piece it's so nice i've got my nan's um wedding band which i'm going to stack it with because i know that one fits really well so it just looks really nice and glittery. Love that. And then the final things they send were just some more earrings. These are so cute. So they're like a little bit bigger than a huggy hoop, I think. Don't know how well you're going to be able to see these. But they're like gold on the one side. And then they've got this glittery diamante bit at the front. I love these so much. I can't put them in because I haven't got a second piercing. But um, I'm going to be wearing these just like as an everyday earring. I suppose they are like a huggy, aren't they? I think if you have got seconds or thirds pierced, these would just be stunning. Love a bit of bling. Um, and then, like I said, they're just kind of plain on the back. So yeah, these are my favourite. I just adore them. They're so, so nice. If you've never checked out Anna Luisa before, then definitely head over. I will pop my link in the description box for you. Really good for gifting over Christmas as well. For mums, sisters, friends, whatever, or even the men in your life, um, if they're jewellery lovers. And like I said, they're currently running the biggest sale of the year, so make sure you check them out. Now is the time if you want to get anything. I'm going to go and put on an outfit and get some stuff done because it's two o'clock and I still haven't done very much <laughs> a day in the life of me. As usual, it's a little bit of a work from home day. We have the concrete delivered today. Um, concrete base for, sorry, I'm just climbing the stairs, I'm out of breath. I don't know whether I've shown you. I don't think I have, I haven't done any house updates. So that came this morning, I'll show you that in a bit. Um, still wet at the moment, I think it's gonna take most the weekend to go off and uh, we probably won't be able to walk on it till next week but basically it's gonna be a garage come utility room bit of an office for me 
um, so I can move my office out of this room and get it downstairs because I want this just to be kind of like my photo room. That sounds so selfish, doesn't it? Just having one room in the house just to take photos in, sound like a dickhead. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. I've had a load of stuff come through, uh, PR stuff today, so I'm just going to start by getting it all hung up and steamed. A really cool small business called Idle Souls sent me one of their t-shirts. It's kind of like biker wear, that's the back print. And it's got like the print on the chest as well, which is really cool. Can't wait to get back on the motorbike with Paul and be able to wear some of this stuff. Yeah, it all needs steaming, it all needs hanging on the rails, so that is my morning. do is tidy up. Does anybody else like that? Oh, I think it's my own fault because I make so much mess. Also, look at this while I'm in the bathroom. I've managed to train my Monstera up onto the mirror. I don't know whether it'll survive. Any plant experts let me know, but he's doing really well. Other than this little dry leaf here. I feel like it's the most hormonal plant ever i can never do right for doing wrong with it if i water it too much it has a hissy fit if i don't water it enough it has a hissy fit i can't win with it so yeah i thought i'd show you the garage which i was meant to do hours ago bear with me put some lights on so this is the garage i can't go on this because it's uh, obviously still wet i imagine it'll take all weekend for it to Harden. Um, they didn't actually say, but we had a new shutter door in. It's all like timber clad on the outside. I'll go out and show you. Um, so this side will be Paul's garage, and here will be the utility room. Um, we're still waiting on our French window to arrive, or French doors, whatever you want to call them. But very exciting. It was so uneven, like the levels of this were so out. So it's nice to have an actual clean floor. I'm going to show you the timber clad from the garden. Oh, hang on, you can see through the window, I don't need to go outside. So that is what the cladding looks like. Very exciting. Finished all my emails for the week, which is always a bonus. Why isn't this focusing? It pulls off all weekend, so it might mean we can leave the house and do something fun. If we do, I will make sure to take my camera with me and film it. I'm very aware these videos are just me at home talking to myself. <laughs> It's just a nice way to keep me company because I don't see anyone in the day. If anybody actually wants to be my friend, then I, I'm open to friends. my face um i didn't vlog all weekend just because we didn't really get up to too much we did a little bit on the house went out for a coffee which you will have seen we watched um 71 on netflix that's really good it's about the uh, troubles in ireland really like that we watched that saturday night i think what did we do sunday paul did some brickwork on the house what did i do i just had like a houseworky day Nothing exciting, nothing worth filming. I need to nip to the post office and I want to nip into the charity shop to see if I can find myself a long black, um, like a woolen sort of coat. It doesn't matter if it's not wool, but if it was wool, that would be perfect. That's my day, really. Oh, I want to get back and do some work on... I don't, I don't even know if I've mentioned it on here. I've 
gonna uh, start an Etsy shop. You lot probably don't know, but I've got a side hobby for like gardening and floristry and all that sort of stuff. And I've started making little ornaments out of the flowers I pressed. So yeah, I thought I'd just launch an Etsy shop. Never know what might come of it. I'm only launching like a limited amount of products to start with just to test the waters and see if anybody's actually interested. I want a product that isn't just like an influencer making a jumper, you know what I mean? I, I want something that I'm actually interested in um, and something that doesn't really resemble what I do on Instagram. I've got a separate Instagram for my gardening page which is Kate's Potting Shed, I'll pop it across here if there's any other fo uh, fellow gardeners out there. Um, but that's what I'm running it through and that's what the shop name will be called. All the flowers that are on there have been grown in my own garden, pressed by yours truly. I just wanted a little hobby that didn't have anything to do with just like the general Instagram influencer thing. I mean, yes, that is my job, but well, I say job. Um, <laughs> it's hardly a, it is a real job, it's hard work. It doesn't generate the income I need, so I need a side hustle. If I'm honest with you, I've been on a massive downer with Instagram. The engagement levels are just fucking me off because of their wanky algorithm. It doesn't show my audience any of my content. It's just, it's oversaturated, isn't it? And I know that they can't please everyone. But it's so disheartening when you put in so much work, especially if you're doing it for a brand and they're expe expecting a good engagement rate. I feel like every other fucker is getting paid for what they do and no, everyone refuses to pay me to do it, which is so unfair because I do not create shit. Um, my engagement levels are generally, when Instagram's playing ball, really good. So I just, I'm so disheartened by the whole thing at the moment. I could literally just delete my Instagram and never have anything to do with it ever again. That is the way I'm feeling about it at the moment. But I try not to think about it too much because there's worse things going on in the world, isn't there? I want to force it down people's throats all the time. Like, buy this, buy that. I earn a commission off it. It's just so... It's hard. It's hard to balance. I don't really know where I'm going with this, but... You can <laughs> if you do Instagram, you will get what I mean. It's so hard to get people to believe in your brand, um, especially when you're selling yourself. I feel like if you're selling a product, it's not so much, it's not as hard, but when you're selling yourself, people are like, hmm. I get the impression where it's just really bitchy and people don't want anyone to exceed, which this day and age is ridiculous. And fucking hell, I'm an adult, just grow up. <laughs> That's the impression I get anyway, but um, yeah, enough with the dowdy, moaning, boring stuff. Ready for the day, I look like a different human. <laughs> Finally managed to sort my shit out. We're having our door delivered for the utility room today. Um, I come in between nine and a half, ten, so I've got an hour and a half to wait. So I'm gonna have my breakfast. I don't know whether I showed you the, I showed you the floor wet, didn't I? I don't know whether I showed it you dry. Oh, that's a good way of looking at the back of my hair. Quite actually managed to get it all curly for once. So yeah, I'm gonna go down, put some washing on. Um, oh my God. I've got, oh, that's flattering, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, put some washing on. I need to go and do the dog shit run in the garden. I'll show you the floor, hang on, let me put this down. What are you doing, Papa? Exciting. Um, it isn't that actually that small. It's going to have a kitchen sink, washing machine, and then cupboards up the wall. And then this end, I'm going to move my office down. So I'm going to have a workbench for all my flower stuff um, and my computer. And then I might have like a hanging tree branch and stuff for my dried flowers there. Haven't decided yet, but yeah, it's nice to have a hard level floor. So I need to open the garage door and plug this in for when they deliver the um, door so I can quickly let them in. We haven't done anything downstairs in the house yet so we've, all we've done is upstairs and downstairs has just taken a massive back seat because the kitchen and dining room all needs to be knocked into one and it's such a big job and it's so expensive so that's why we've still got a 70s kitchen <laughs> but it's nice to have this little room off the side of the house that is 
get in there basically. So I'm gonna have my overnight oats. According to Sainsbury, I've just got a few bits. What did I get? Agave, agave or agave syrup, washing liquid, fabric softener. <laughs> so exciting. Almond milk, some mints, some mushrooms, and oh, pepper. Because I'm going to make a lasagna tonight. I curled my hair this morning. Now look at it. I've only been doesn't seem to hold the curl anymore now it's a bit longer so i've just had my lunch made myself a brew because i cannot function without one i went to the shop while i was in town and picked up my post full text me and said i've got a load of posts there so obviously i flew in because i love a post day i've got two parcels from simply be and a parcel from super dry i chose these pajamas they look the coziest oh they've got a little sleep mask with them as well so this is like the long sleeve and then long leg pyjama set and it comes free with a little face mask which is so cute. I think these will be perfect if you're looking for Christmas gifts. You can never go wrong with pyjamas can you? What are these? Oh no they're leggings with a stirrup on. I've wanted to try these for ages. I always see Lorna Lux on Instagram wearing these and she looks amazing in them. Oh my god they're so thick and they've got like a stripe detail down the front and then they go into a stirrup they're so nice they're so thick oh my god they got a ruched bum as well for extra ass lift i need that yeah i'm excited i got those in a 12 they look massive so this is a puffer jacket like i need another one but this one is a hands tooth one. Oh my god that's so cool hood it feels so thick and cozy Oh good and it's got black hardware so nice that would make such a nice skiing jacket if you were going skiing or snowboarding not that i am but that's cool i love that then what have we got from super dry oh my god i wanted to try these for ages so these are their little bralettes you know like the calvin klein ones where they're printed under the boob these are the same they just say super dry they're so soft oh my god I'm gonna live in these. They're the Grace Super Bralette. Let me get one out. Oh, so I've got a black and a white one. I think they do like a wine red color and a gray as well. They're so nice. Again, Christmas gift. They'd be awesome. What else we got? I feel like my camera battery's gonna die. Sorry if it does. Oh my God, everything's so soft. So these are from the Studios line that Super Dry do. If you've never checked out the Studios range, you need to. It's my favorite range from Super Dry. 
um, it's a little bit <clears throat> think like All Saints. If you're into All Saints clothing, you will love Super Super Dry Studios. So these are just like a khaki, kind of like a lounge trouser, but they're in a really nice fabric. Cuffed at the bottom. That looks so nice with like a black hoodie and a black, um, like lot like what I'm looking for in the charity shop, like a long wool coat and some trainers. I think they'll look so nice. Back pockets as well, elasticated waist. Their t-shirts are awesome. I own a few of their t-shirts. I just love a graphic t-shirt. Again, like the khaki trousers, you can't go wrong for a comfy outfit. It's got a little skull on the back as well. This is called the Vintage Embellished boxy tea and it's called honey tiger one thing i do notice with super dry is the quality is just outstanding i've never worked with a brand that's got quality like super dry i actually need a different colored cap because i live in my black um new is it new era with the ny on the front so i've got like this khaki stone color and this is from the studios range as well how nice is that color it's not going to look right because my hair is a right mess the only thing is with caps, I find my ears are too big, so I have to wear them over the top of my ear. I love that. Greasy hair days. What a saviour. That's so cool. Feels really nice as well. Then I've got a jumper. I was looking forward to this coming. I love this colour so much. I've got a hoodie uh, from Super Dry in this colour. And I wear it to death. So this is just a knit. It's like a reddy orange. Oh my god. That's so nice. Look at that colour and it's so soft. It's slightly cropped. It's got the little super dry tag here. I will get so much wear out of that. To be fair, all these pieces I will wear to death. Three more items. This looks lovely. Oh my god, how big is it? It looks so nice on the model. I'll insert a photo. Um, this is a corporate logo crew neck. And it's bright orange, really big, baggy, oversized jumper. It's just got some print on the back and it's the colour Denver Orange. I got this in a 12 to 14 and it's huge. But I will live in that in the winter. It's so nice. Oh, I need to take a breath. I feel like all I've done today is rush around. So this is from the studio collection as well. The fabric of this is lovely. This is just a black v-neck jumpsuit. It's going to be hard to show it you off, but I will, like I say, put it on Instagram. Is it? Oh my god, it's got pockets. Love a pocket. Really nice material. It's got like a subtle... You're not going to be able to see that, I don't think. It's got a subtle pattern on it. I don't know whether it's like a... It's not leopard print, but I love this. This is called the Jacker Jumpsuit. You can dress this up, dress it down. I'm thinking white trainers puffer jacket, cap, I think I look cool, or dress it up with heels, load of gold jewellery. You can't go wrong with a black jumpsuit, can you? And it's got a tie detail, such a nice piece. They did that in khaki as well, I think. And then this piece I'm very excited for. So this is a maxi dress and it's this gorgeous brown and black leopard print with a gold, like embroidered middle to it. Oh my God, this is stunning. So it's a v-neck, it's got sheer sleeve. Oh my god, I'm not tall enough. <laughs> the quality of this, again, is awesome. It's got buttons down the front. What are you snorting at? If you're into like a boho-y sort of vibe, I think this would look gorgeous with a... What's it called? Fedora. A fedora and some cowboy boots. Some silver or gold jewellery. This would look absolutely stunning. But oh my god, that's beautiful. That is called the woven maxi dress in leopard print and I got it in a medium. And those are my parcels. I wasn't expecting that all to arrive today. <laughs> I'm a super dry ambassador so if you like the look of any of that or anything else on the website make sure you use the code um, KH10. Pop it over here because you will get 10% off and it's quite expensive isn't it super dry so any saving is good. I'll pop my link in the description box for you to shop through to get that code. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to finish my bro. What are you doing? I've just come to edit this video and realised there's no ending to it. So 
I thought I'd hop on and say thank you for watching. I'm sorry nothing massively entertaining happened. It was another just at home weekend. Um, I feel like that's all you're doing when you're renovating a house. It's just nipping out to buy things and then coming back and mending the house. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. But I hope you're all well and I will see you in my next video. Bye.